yeah, boy, I'm blessed. <laughs> hey, man, this is it right here. Madden 25 is getting put to rest. Madden 15 Early Access comes out today. So you guys will be seeing a lot of Madden 15 gameplay. I hope you guys are ready, man, because I sure am. I am ready to move on from Madden 25. This game, I think, is a fitting way to end Madden 25, man. Just, just, just the way it ends. I hope you guys will like the way it ends. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys see that. I think this, this kind of symbolizes Madden 25 all season, man. So hopefully you guys enjoy the ending. But stay tuned till the ending. But until then, man, hope you guys are ready for Madden 15. I hope you guys are ready for some Mutt 15. Hope you guys are ready for some football because football season is right around the corner. I hope you guys enjoy the football season so far. Preseason has been pretty exciting, man. There's a lot of things to look forward to this season. I think it's going to be a real good season as Carlos Dansby comes through with the pick. After I threw a pick early in the game, man, Night Train Lane took my soul. But we hand the ball off to Thurman Thomas, and we give the ball to Thurman Thomas again, trying to get some yards. We don't quite get it, but you know what? I'm not going to give up on Thurman. Thurman going to do his thing. Thurman's been around for a long time, man. I've, I've had this original legend, Thurman Thomas card, 98 overall, running back card for a long time. This card has been in my ultimate team hands for a really long time, man. But right here, Johnny Manziel, I make a bad read with Johnny <sighs> Can't believe I made that read, man. Uh, against man, that play should I shouldn't have threw that pass against man coverage. I know that um, I should have passed it to X. Uh, e, I think. Uh, e, I think. Um, threw it to B. Shouldn't have done it, man. That play does not work against man coverage. There's another zone beater on that play. I didn't hit him. Uh, a man beater on that play, and I, I didn't hit him, man. Couldn't quite get it. So we give the ball back. Start the second quarter. Still 0-0, zero to zero, man. He's trying to dot me up, but Elvis Doomerville said, Uh-uh, homie, you ain't trying to do that on me as I made the adjustment because I seen, man, he's abusing these tight end streaks. He think this is Madden 13. This ain't Madden 13, homie, but look at Alshon Jeffrey, though. Ooh, kill him. A user and a CPU on the ground. Somebody call 911. Come pick this boy's face up. So we go up 7-0, man. I'm I'm kind of kind of hyped, man. His offense is not too extravagant, but right here he passed, leading the crap out of me. Like this is Madden 13, man. So I'm I'm just trying to play the middle of the field, trying to play the uh, the seams. He's pretty much stretching the field, man. And he's doing a pretty good job at it, but right there, I use it all the way. Carlos Dansby comes through with a big pick, man. So. That helped me out a lot. I really needed that. So 7 to 0, doing my thing. I go back to Alshon. Alshon, what you doing, man? <laughs> Come on. Don't put the ball on the ground. So we cough one up, man. Big hit fumble. Not a big deal. I gotta live with it. It is what it is. Sometimes it happens, man. But right there, I tried to step up and I couldn't step up quick enough. And Carlos Dansby missed, missed the route. Ah, I just couldn't quite get there quick enough. But this man runs a no huddle. And this man, Devin McCourty, drops a pick, man. Ugh, that hurt me, man. That really did hurt me. So we send a blitz for three, uh, third and ten. He drops back, throws it, gets the first down, man. Running these seams. He's, he was no huddling pretty much the entire se uh, first half, man. So it was kind of hard to keep adjusting and keep trying to send the heat at the same time, man. Because once I send heat, he'll make the bad read. So I wasn't too worried about it. But at the same time, I was like, man, I shouldn't. he shouldn't even have that. I dropped the pick, and he got a, he got those points off of turnover. So, right here, I go ahead and run the QB rap with Johnny Money Manziel. Man, you know I had to taunt. That's Johnny Manziel, man. Ain't no Johnny Manziel don't show no sportsmanship. He flipping Redskins off, man. <laughs> this ain't a game. You think this is a game? This ain't no game, man. So, right now... I'm up 14-7. to seven. I scored real quick. As soon as I got the ball, man, Johnny Manziel did his thing right here. This man, once again, going down the middle of, this, uh, middle of the field, man, running these streaks. And I, I keep messing up the adjustments. Every time I think he's streaking somebody, he streaks somebody else. And I just can't quite get there. And Eric Dickerson runs it in for a touchdown, man. So 14 all. We doing our thing out here, man. I'm, try I'm trying, to, trying to keep it positive, trying to keep motivated, trying to keep moving. 
And right here, Johnny Manziel throwing dots to Des Bryant. Des Bryant is an absolute man child out there, man, doing his thing. Except for that play right there, he ended up deciding to give up on the play and stop running his route. So Johnny Manziel rolls out. <laughs> He's about to get sacked, and he throws it. Completes the pass on the move. Third and inches. Want you see? Want you see? Want you see? Want you guys to see this play right here, though? I picked this play. Wide receiver screen, man. This man played man coverage all game. He bumped. He pressed Des Bryant. Des Bryant got caught in a stupid animation and started heading upfield, man. On a wide receiver screen, he's supposed to come back, but he ended up heading upfield, which kind of frustrated me. For a quick play like that, man, I was expecting it to be open, and it wasn't because Des Bryant got caught in that whack animation. So he ends up getting the ball back and settling for the field goal. So now he goes up at halftime, and he gets the ball back. So I'm a little nervous. I'm like, man, this game is getting tossed away, and it's not even my fault, man. Okay, I made a couple of bad reads, but it shouldn't have been that way, though. So I'm trying to play defense the best I can, sending the heat, trying to cover all his players. Third and ten, he goes deep, and Earl Thomas drops a pick. <sighs> but it's all right, though, because we get another chance, and he dots me up. Dots me up, I'm telling you, man. So right there, he tries to run the ball with Eric Dickerson. Second and inches, I end up stopping him on second and inches. Third and two, can I get another stop? I get a pick by Carlos Dansby, and Carlos Dansby turns on the Jets. And heads the opposite direction all the way down the field. Could he score? This man scored, man. But right here, this very next play, I think, symbolizes Madden 25. Yeah. That just happened, man. It just happened. It was a good game. It turned into a good game. And that happened. Not sure if he did it on purpose. But I would like to believe he didn't do it on purpose because sometimes it happens trying to block a field goal. But it is what it is, man. I let it play out for a little bit, thinking he's going to quit immediately, but he didn't. So, man, a couple minutes went by. I decided, you know what? I'm going to wait for the screen to go gray, and then I'm going to quit out because after this happens, you really can't do anything, man. I just dropped the controller, walked off. Um, went to go get me something to drink, came back. It was still there. I was like, you know what? It ain't that serious. I'm going to go ahead and quit. And Madden 25, just like that. And this is your boy. I'm blessed. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces, y'all. I'm out.